And I've just got to round this. <laughs> These things can be deceptive because as, the, as this goes into the wood, it also comes back this way. So if you notch it out to there, you've got about an eighth of an inch gap showing. So you've got to pull this thing back to you, line up the middle. I've got it on the center line. Line up this middle and pull it back. Well, the whole trigger assembly moved. I'm trying to keep from having to put the whole thing together and I, I end up I might end up having to do it anyway but I can get a start with this I'm gonna keep my my belly against it there and pull this thing back and I'm gonna make an outline but I'm not gonna cut to that outline I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay back away from it some down here where it's where it's wide and flat and fat I can I can cut that but I can't up here where it makes a point because that's where it's deceptive now I'm gonna take out a bunch of that because this thing's got to go down in there back here it doesn't have to go that far but up on the end it's about an eighth of an inch <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and set the screw and set it a little bit back that way so it'll draw it down. I've got to get these edges tucked in. They're just a little bit, a tiny bit off. But I think this screw will draw it down some.
that brass hammer doesn't hurt this metal but it it makes a dent lets me know where I've got to take out You get the idea, and so forth and so on. After cutting everything in on center line with this, uh, all these tangs and top and bottom, everything working carefully from center line, I still have my center line down here and down the bottom. Now the next step is to see if it actually ended up in the center like I hoped it would be in the center. So what I'm doing is on this vertical line down the butt plate. We'll put this straight edge on that line. And then I'm going to sight down this edge and look down that barrel. And if the center of that barrel lines up with that, then all my efforts panned out. And it is really, really close. So there may be a more high-tech way to do this, probably a beam of light like a laser that's shown down the middle of that and then shown out to this end. There probably is some way of doing it, but this way works. And if low tech works as good as high tech, I'll stay with low tech any day. So now what I gotta do is cut this back end off. The owner has supplied me with a teardrop. That's what makes it a teardrop, this little point. And this is an old one. It came off an old, old Remington it's too wide and it's too long. I've got to cut this down probably three eighths of an inch and I got to cut the width down to match the original, which probably is a eight, three sixteenths off of both sides. But I can cut it down and make it fit as long as I grind this back flat. There's a little flat spot here and here. And as long as I make that flat, it'll touch the wood and, and make a nice fit. So I've got to determine my length of pull and then cut this down and then cut this off. The angle that I'm grinding this needs to be the same Imagine this sitting against the buttstock and the buttstock, the lines are going this way. So this angle has got to line up with the lines of the stock. And it's getting warm. That's pretty, pretty much symmetrical, I think. Now I gotta grind a flat spot on the back of this where it touches the wood. I think I would be better off doing the flat spot with another tool. Maybe. 